folks, this is Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, bringing you another episode of iCarry. Today, we have an affordable setup for the Red Dot Curious for you to consider. Let's take a closer look at this gear. If you've been thinking about getting a Red Dot ready pistol, but aren't really sure if it's a good fit, there are many options available that offer multiple optic compatibility. One of the more recent versions is the Toro lineup from Taurus, with both full-size and compact models available. The full-size G3 we have today has a 4-inch barrel, offers up to 17 plus 1 round capacity, and weighs 24.8 ounces. Let's dive into the Toro part right off. There's a standard cover plate that removes to reveal a milled slide with two sets of screw holes to accommodate a variety of optics. Four plates match up with Doctor, RMR, Seymour and Delta Point optics, and those that share footprints. Three sets of screws are provided to attach your optic to the slide. Be aware on the screws though, because they use tiny Allen head screws that are super easy to strip if you're not careful. The plates are metal and contain a cutout that matches a raised section on the slide for positive engagement. It's well done, and had Torx T10 screws been used, I'd say this is perfect. Striker fired, the G3 has Taurus's second strike capability, where the trigger can be pulled a second time on a round that fails to ignite. While it's not a traditional double action system like the Beretta 92, the second strike feature is analogous. Should the G3 striker fail to ignite the round, the trigger can be pulled again, obviously with a heavier pull. Naturally, the standard tap rack assess failure drill can also be employed and should be second nature if you practice with a standard striker fired pistol. While the G3 is considered full size compared to the G3C, it's really more of a mid size or even compact. The flush fit magazine holds 15 rounds which allows all three fingers of the firing hand to contact the grip, but just barely for those with larger hands. The 17 round magazine extends slightly and has a sleeve that allows full support for the strong hand pinky finger, regardless of hand size. It's more in line size wise with the M&P Compact or G19, so it's definitely suitable for concealed carry. We were pleasantly surprised to find offerings from Kinetic Concealment for the Taurus G3. It can often be challenging to find a fit for a pistol that's not a Glock M&P or P320, it often entails a bit of internet sleuthing and begging to find options. The combo kit from Kinetic Concealment offers the same leather Kydex hybrid for both inside and outside the waistband and is available for the Taurus G3, G3C, and their optics ready counterparts. Converting the combo from inside to outside the waistband or the reverse simply requires removing four screws and attaching the Kydex shell to the intended leather backer. The outside the waistband backer is minimalist and keeps the unit tight to the body while the inside the waistband backer contains a sweat guard and clips that allow the unit to be tucked in. It's a lot of utility for the money. I've got to say, the Bushnell RXS100 red dot sight was a big surprise. When you see an MSRP less than $100, let's just say you don't have the highest of expectations. That, however, was not the case with the RXS100. It has a crisp 4MOA dot, aluminum housing, and top mounted battery access. All features you'd expect on a dot two to three times that price. There's even a Picatinny rail mount for the RXS100, should you want to put it on a carbine or shotgun. The RXS100 uses the Loophole Delta Point Pro footprint to mount the slides, so getting it installed should be relatively straightforward. It has eight brightness settings controlled by easy to access buttons, runs on a single CR2032 battery, and has a claimed battery life of 5,000 hours on setting five. Since the battery sits in a slot on the side of the RXS100, there's no need to remove the unit to change the battery all for less than a hundred bucks. For more information on the items we've chosen for today's kit, or to see other guns and gear combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more episodes of iCarry.